Hey, here we go here on this Friday time now for three things you need to know and one you don't. The weekly edition. We begin with our three top stories of the week. Governor Ned Lamont is searching for a new solution to fix our roads, bridges and rail. Now that his toll plan is dead, at least for now. Senate Democrats said they needed at least another week to vote on their proposal, but Lamont lost his patience. Lamont wants to borrow $200 million a year for infrastructure improvements. Is it the best way to fund it? No. Is it 100% paid for by the taxpayers of Connecticut? Yes. Are the interest rates going to be a little bit more? Yes. Is it a smart way to go? No, but it's a plausible way to get this thing going. Lamont says he won't increase the budget, so lawmakers will have to make other cuts to find the funds. Parents and some children debated a vaccine exemption bill for about 21 hours straight in Hartford. The public hearing started Wednesday morning and continued until the early morning hours of Thursday. Lawmakers are considering requiring parents to vaccinate their kids in order to enroll them in school. More than 2,200 people have died from the coronavirus, mostly in China. Global shares dipped yesterday, including the Dow, S&P 500, and the NASDAQ. Four Americans who tested positive for the virus are getting treatment at a hospital in Washington state. They were passengers on the Diamond Princess cruise ship docked in Japan. And the one thing you don't need to know, we all get a little hungry during Renee's traffic reports. And let me take you uh, across the entire state right now. We can take a look at oh, some, some lunch meals. Those look absolutely delicious. I will take one of those. Can I have one? Those look absolutely delicious. But Harford, Waterbury, New Haven, and Middletown, that, I, that, I am sorry, that looks absolutely fantastic. We are delay-free. <laughs> yeah, a little error there. That's okay. <laughs> 